this is really helpful in understanding why somebody, you know, some, sometimes we get these leads of people that have listed. It's been on and off the market for a year and a half. And this gives us an understanding why it was priced way too high. Maybe the agent they had had no idea how to sell this beat up home, you know, things like that. You're listening to Flip Empire, the show committed to helping real estate entrepreneurs who want to build their empire without sacrificing their life. Your success and freedom starts now with your host, Alex Pardo. So, hey, for, for, the, for the people that are not familiar with PropStream, maybe haven't even like peeked under the hood, um, I don't know if you can share your screen. I'd love to kind of dive in there and let's, let's go through like what's, what's the hype about when it comes to PropStream. And by the way, guys, so at the bottom of the screen there, just full transparency, I have my affiliate link. Flipempire.com forward slash PropStream. You guys can test drive this thing. Um, we use it in our business. It's an incredible, incredible tool. I wouldn't be uh, recommending it if it, was, if it wasn't something that I believed in. So um, what I want to do here is I want screen because um, I'm very familiar with this system, but even I don't know this thing up and down the way Paul does. So um, hopefully you guys can see this on your screen, but like walk us through big picture. Like what are some of the key benefits of the system? Oh, I'll keep it real simple, right? Because for the either be beginner person literally trying to get their first deal or somebody that has a business and they have, you know, a team and they're comping multiple leads. Um, essentially what it is, is it's a tool, a uh, real estate investors tool where you can throw in a property address, find out everything about the property, find out its value, find out taxes, find out physically what's what the property is made of comps uh, and everything that you could think of or about it and everything around it. Uh, super important, right? Because as as investors, what do we do? We're, we're looking at properties and, and we're making, you know, running numbers and coming up with offers to, to put out and, and get deals. So that's super important for the daily activity, right? The daily access of, of PropStream. Uh, we also allow you to create a marketing list, right? We were just talking about marketing being the bloodline of the business. Here you can go in by, you know, market or general area that you're in and create a list. A uh, very wide list if you want. Maybe you want to reach out to all the landlords in an entire county, uh, you know, single family homes in your entire county. Or maybe you just want to reach out to a niche of uh, folks that owe money, maybe in pre-foreclosure and also have some liens attached to their property. Mm -hmm. um, it, it all goes back to the question, you know, the conversation we've been having about marketing. What are you able to handle right now? Maybe you're a single guy, maybe really 50 leads is enough. You know, grind through those 50 leads, knock on doors, mail, do whatever you have to do, call them and work on that. Uh, maybe you've evolved, right? And you scaled up and now you can handle 50,000 leads. You're, you're marketing to an entire county, whatever that may be. And everything in between, we're able to pull that up here in, in PropStream. So okay. let me kind of dive in here. Let's go uh, to familiar familiar grounds for you. Uh, well, actually right. for me, because I used to live in Broward, but let's uh, just imagine, let me pick a random property here. Let's go for this guy. So we're doing marketing, right? Maybe you make contact or your acquisitions manager or your lead manager makes contact with somebody, understand the property, is trying to have dialogue with the seller. And now you want to verify some of that stuff. Throw in that property address and we get, boom, a whole window of everything you can imagine estimated value, kind of like your quick and dirty number. You know, sometimes, you know, you speak to a seller and they're like, yeah, I want a million bucks for my property. Well, you know, <laughs> you know, looking at the estimated <laughs> value. Heard that one before, right? Yeah, that doesn't happen. Right? Like, so, you know, the quick and dirty, you know, you're way off the mark, but maybe if somebody's telling you they want about, you know, 275, quick and dirty number, we know we're kind of in the ballpark. We are kind of verifying all the stuff that a seller might tell us either in the appointment or on the phone these days. Um, all the ownership, all the property characteristics, we have mailing address, owner's information. Uh, I mean, you, you name it, the things that we need to be able to get a hold of a seller um, or understand uh, about the property that a seller is talking to us about is right here in this window. We, we see the who, what, where of the last transactions. We understand if the property is on market, if it is, how many days, description, has it been on and off the market? This is really helpful in understanding why somebody, you know, some, sometimes we get these leads of 
people that have listed. It's been on and off the market for a year and a half. And this gives us an understanding why. It was priced way too high. Maybe the agent they had had no idea how to sell this beat up home. You know, things like that. That's all uh, super valuable intel, by the way. Super valuable. Aside from that, we have what I think is like the mega power in here is the ability to look at comps. And we have a lot of information for you to kind of take a look at. But most importantly, we have public record and MLS data. You could look at it together. You could look at it separate. Uh, you might ask, hey, Paul, why, why do you have these separate here? Well, you know, public record has a set of data that obviously gets recorded. Uh, MLS transactions do get recorded in the public record, but there's a timing discrepancy, right? Mm -hmm. Something that sells on MLS might not necessarily show up in public record for a while, or maybe a cash transaction that just happened doesn't show up on MLS. You know, that sort of way, we give you the ability to really just have a full understanding of what's going on around that property. So you come in here, man, you, you use your filter set to find the most like properties. Uh, Cause you know, that's, that's what a comp is. We're trying to find the property that's the most identical to the one in question, right? Cause that's going to give you the fair value with selling around that immediate area. Correct. Uh, so we look at public record, you know, we could look at MLS, we could look at what's sold on MLS recently. We could also look at what's active. And this is helpful for us, maybe if we're buying in a community or an area that we've never bought in. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can take a look at, you know, what is listed in that area and what does it look like? So we can go in here. Well, this looks like they're selling cars. <laughs> uh, so this might be a exa bad example. But nonetheless, we can look at the pictures and understand what that property looks like. Yeah. You know, is it a house that's fully rehabbed? Are they asking, you know, top market price? Does it merit that price? Just right. Bits of information that help us in making our assessment in moving the lead or moving the deal further down our process. And, and let me tell you, man, when we were marketing to motivated sellers, one of the things that was extremely beneficial for us was when we actually had them on the phone. The fact that we can pull this up on the screen while we were on the headset and I saw my lead manager, I saw my team actually working the leads and being able to pull up all the information real time, just it, it sped up the uh, the process. You know what I mean? versus the, the old school way of having to log into the MLS. The MLS is a little bit clunkier. Um, we may not have access, especially if you're doing deals virtually. We didn't personally have access to MLS and other markets. So um, this just made it extremely easy for us. One last thing before you go, if you have been listening to the show for a while and or you have been getting value from the show, I would be 100% honored if you would share this show with a friend or maybe share it with somebody that you think could benefit from this. It's my mission, it's my cause, it's my purpose through Flip Empire to impact and touch people's lives, to help people and in their businesses. So it would be an honor if you would be willing to share this episode. And uh, one last thing, make sure that you're subscribed so that you get notified every Monday and Thursday when shows get released. I look forward to connecting with you on the next one. Until then, have a great day.